What's up guys, how are you? I just woke up, okay? And I figured this would be the best time to do this video. It was right after I woke up. And this is, if you don't know what this is, this is the Kushal bar, the beard straightening thing that everybody has been going crazy for. For some reason it's a hundred bucks. Now, this video is just gonna be me unboxing it and trying it out. I'll do a whole separate video comparing it to a $20 or a $30 beard straightener and see if there's any difference at all and if it's actually worth it. Um, so this is just the initial unboxing and impression. Um, I already got my greasy ass fingerprints all over it. Um, it's definitely cool packaging. It's like that James Charles palette looking thing, that black on gloss black. Uh, very cool. So you open it up and inside you got your little the manual. You got the actual unit itself right here and that's it it's very small but this isn't comparing right now this is just observing but it is definitely very compact let me show you the details on it real quick it just says kusha bar right there on it it's got like a looks like an on off button so it's just one temperature these are the tines on it and then it has a big long cord but let's plug it in and see what happens let's undo this cord or cord tie. It's a pretty long cord. Okay, it is officially plugged in. Let's hit this button. Oh, hold power button for three seconds. Okay, now it's blinking. Okay, that's okay. I'm just dumb. It says start and stop, hold power buttons, divide heats to 190 degrees Celsius. That seems like a lot. I know my other one, I use it on like 350 or 380. Uh, Fahrenheit. So I'll put what one 190 Celsius is right there. And if it's a lot higher than like 350, 380, it's probably something to be kind of concerned about. It says insert plug into power source, wait 60 seconds to heat, gently comb hair into desired style direction, making sure not to press down on skin. Um, use MASC by Jeff Chastain styling and treatment products to ensure quality and condition of hair. Device automatically turns off after 30 minutes for safety. All right, it's had to have been a minute by now. I guess it doesn't beep and lets you know it's up to temperature. I don't know. Also, one thing I noticed, I think this is not what is shown in the pictures. I believe what's shown in the pictures is that swivel mount that a lot of um, beard straighteners or hair straighteners have. And this does not have that. Okay, let's try it out. And let's try this out. It doesn't feel that bad. And my beard is super raw right now. Just keep that in mind. I just woke up. It's been, this beard's been rolling around in bed for nine hours. Got that damn wave there. Also, side note, I've never let any company use footage of me or, or let you, them use my content of any like beard straightening stuff. So if you see a video of me on Facebook or Instagram straightening my beard, advertising a product, it's a complete scam. As far as, as far as using my image and flag that shit as spam whenever you see it or tag me. It's really hard to file a copyright claim on Instagram, but if you guys get in the comments enough and tell people don't buy this shit, they're spamming or they're scamming, then I think it will help enough. And that looks, I'm looking in the monitor right now. That looks pretty good, I think. I still have the damn, where my chin, I got a big old fucking Spartacus chin. I think this goes, I'm gonna try the whole back strategy that I use sometimes. This helps a lot with chin hair. Hopefully it works with this. Looks like I got a bald spot right there. <laughs> and I'm just brushing out with that versus trying to brush down and creating a divot. And then kind of shake it out, 
comb it out, and then do we, yeah, we still have the curve. Now understand this isn't the fault of this. This is my fault for not being skilled enough to get this damn curve out. Um, it's just frustrating. And you're probably, you're probably wondering what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing is I'm taking the hairs, when you're brushing down with this, it's like, boom, wrapping around your chin and creating a heat, whatever, creating a heat mold or whatever. But if you're brushing the hairs against your face, like against a hard surface, it's like an ironing board. You don't iron over the edge of the ironing board. Like this, that's what this would be right here. But you put, your, the, you put it flat on the ironing board. So this is what this is. When I'm putting my hair up here on my face, I'm ironing it on a flat board in order, I guess you could visualize it like that. So yeah, that was me unboxing and using the Kusha bar. Um, I mean, let me go check myself out in the mirror real quick before I say anything. Yeah, I just checked myself out. Yeah, it worked pretty good. Um, now, the main question whether or not, now the main question I'm gonna dig into over the next couple days, I'm gonna use this and my other one alternating back and forth and seeing which one's better. Um, it, the main question is, is this worth $100? This is literally $100. Whereas you can get one on Amazon, like the one I have downstairs for like 20, 30 bucks. I'll link both down below. Um, I'll link this one and I'll link the one that I have down below so you can, both, you can check them both out and see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not saying to buy them. Um, I wouldn't buy this based on just this video. It could be just completely overhyped and overpriced. I don't know yet. I'm gonna kind of challenge it versus that um, heat brush that I have downstairs. I'm leaning towards, yeah, it's probably a little bit overpriced and overhyped because I really didn't see $80 worth of improvement over that one. I don't know but I'll do a full video comparing the two that I have, the $25 one and then this $100 one, and we'll go from there. And I'll probably upload that here in like four or five days, um, depending, I'm still building my studio right now and doing all that. You guys can follow me on Instagram if you want, official beard tube, and you can kind of follow along with this, the YouTube studio build progress if you'd like. And then give this video a thumbs up because gosh dang, this thing is pretty hot. And I put it in my beard for you guys. You're welcome. Hit, <laughs> reciprocate with a thumbs up, okay? Just to let me know you love me. And then uh, comment down below. I probably won't answer. I'm not really good at getting, I'm really not good at get, uh, answering comments. But you can subscribe if you like this channel. It's all about beard stuff. And yeah, have a great day. Stay bearded. Bye.